What is up guys, H13 and back with another video. So today I will be reviewing Lego Star Wars set 752-66, the Troopers Battle Pack. It retails for $14.99, recommended for ages 6, plus, 6 and up, and it has 105 pieces. It includes four minifigures, uh, with including one Sith Trooper, two Sith Jet Troopers, and then one Sith Officer. So let's get into the build first and then the minifigs. We're removing most of the figures. I'm just gonna remove them. So it kind of looks like a snow speed, like the the snow speeder from um, uh, Last Jedi that wasn't in the movie, or is either the Last Jedi or First Awakens that was no, it's Force Awakens that wasn't in the movie. So you can see it has two thrusters in the black. Really like this, like this like light but like dark blue, really cool color. Um, like how you could sit two minifigures there, and then you could sit someone right there. Kind of wish they would have, like, spot a spot for you to put the jet troopers instead of having that there. But you can make modifications, like, where the jet troopers could just look back, and then you launch it. And then, see, there's, like, some blasters, and then there's, like, one of those things so it could, like, move around easier. Like that. And then there's also a stud shooter, which is attachable, but you know what that does. I'll show you if you haven't seen it, so... And that was great. Um, good thing I have the. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using the stud shooters unless you like, you like using them because they always get lost for me. But yeah, that's gone now. Um, I have to I'm gonna find this once I do the minifig segment. And then you see, it's basically it for this build. And now let's go on to the minifigs of the set. So the first minifigure we have is a Sith officer. I'm gonna call him that since they're calling it Sith Troopers, Sith Jet, Jet Troopers. Since he has like the red line running across his torso, I'm just gonna call him a Sith officer. Um, he has a really, there's like a, the, the First Order logo for the hat, really nice. And then you also have this face. This face isn't that common anymore. It used to be like, Back in like the Superman when they had the Superman sets, so like a couple of years, what's that, like twenty twelve, like when that face like started first started like coming out, and really like the printing of this. Really can't complain about this figure because it's really nice, especially for an officer. I could see if it didn't have the red line, I'd maybe complain, but the red line just makes it like exclusive and really unique. So that's why I like this figure and don't mind his inclusion. The next minifigure we have is a jet trooper. Um, kind of wish they included two Sith Troopers instead of two Sith Jet Troopers, because I think there's more Sith Troopers and then Sith Jet Troopers, and it'd also be cooler to have more Sith Troopers, but you also get one in the Kylo Ren shuttle, so I kind of like that, and I'm probably gonna, I, I think I might build that, start building it today, even though I didn't finish the Disney train yet, I have like a couple, like five more bags up than that, but I'm gonna like finish out over the weekend because of school and stuff, but I'm gonna see if I can get that started. So, yeah, enough talking. So there's the Sith Jet Trooper. Really cool figure. Um, yeah, I, just, I just thought I saw, like, blinking. So it's a really cool figure. You can see it has, like, a stud shooter, which I already demonstrated before. And then a really nice jetpack mold. It's not exclusive to here. Well, it's exclusive in red, but they actually already had this jetpack mold in the Pasana Speeder Chase, which I reviewed a couple months ago on my channel. And... Then for the other, the back printing, uh, that's the back, for the back twister printing, pretty cool. And then the head is an angry clone head, which is not a shocker. So now let's go into the most interesting minifigure out of set, which is the Sith Trooper. Well, these are interesting, but they only include one Sith Trooper, which is um, really nice. I really like the design of the Sith Trooper. Uh, like his torso printing, angry clone face, I don't really care, because it's going to be carried up by this cool helmet mold. I love this helmet mold. It's really cool, and I love the printing on it. Torso printing is great. Back printing is very good. I really love this figure. If I had, to, if I, well, if I had, I have, for Force Friday, if I bought um, Kylo Ren's shuttle, it probably would have been my favorite minifigure of last, last year, because it's really cool. Um... It's probably going to be, like, I'm probably going to do a favorite figures again this year. So, it's probably going to end up being in there. Unless there's, like, figures that blow this one out of the park, which I doubt that. Uh, really nice figure. Uh, I'm going to tell you, like, some ideas I have with these figures in a little bit. Well, after this. So, yeah. Let's go on to after this. Right now. So, overall, I give this battle pack a 7 out of 10. Uh, it wouldn't be higher. I really like it, though. 
but I would give, give it a 7 out of 10 because it's called Sith Troopers. And this is a Sith Trooper. That's a Sith Trooper. These are Sith Jet Troopers. They called it the Sith Jet Trooper Battle Pack. I would have no problem with it. Probably give it a 10 out of 10. But that's why. I wish they would have included one of these to be a Sith Trooper. That would have been way cooler. Um, I'm going to show you the box. It's a little bit mutilated because I'm so excited to open it up. I also purchased this at Target if you wanted to know. Hold that up right now. I can hold it pretty steady. So there's the box. It's a Troopers Battle Pack. 105 pieces. And it's a Troopers. And then here's the back of the box. It's yeah, I mutilated it. But I'm probably gonna plan on getting like four more of these just to, like have my cushion, so I'm just gonna throw it over there. Okay. So yeah, that was my first 2020 review. Expect more on the channel. Uh, this has inspired me to do a, I'm probably going to do a Sith Trooper, like, stop motion or stop motion series. So look forward to that. And, yeah, this is the first one out of, well, because I wanted four of these, including this list. But I'm probably going to get one Mandalorian Battle Pack now, because that, like, sold out while it's on back order. So, like, next time I go there, which is probably not going to be, like, until, like, February, it's really this year. I'm probably going to pick up the Duo Mustafar, this is definite. And then Mandalorian, and then probably more of these. And then I'll wait off to get like the other stuff, like the resistance stuff, like the pods and polyrides and stuff. But yeah. And I'm also holding off the Batman CMF because I don't think many people are going to buy that because five bucks is kind of expensive. But yeah, that's my review on my first 2020 set. So hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.